Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a biped rig to display better when animating on 3ds Max. So I'm going to use this rig made by Jose Pedro Diaz. Here's the link so you can use it. He makes an amazing creatures and and humans using 3D, 3ds Max and the biped system. But today I'm going to show you how to use better the, the rigging for animating. In this case, if you want to select the hand or the or the fingers, you will need to find the hand inside the, the rig. And it's a little bit hard to select. So this is what we're going to do. To hide the mesh, we're going to press Shift G so we can see all the rig inside. So we're going to go to the motion panel. I'm going to select the rig and I'm going to use the figure mode to change the way the bones are shown in the system. I'm going to change the skeleton to classic. So that way we're going to see the bones a little bit better. And now on the display panel, we're going to display them as a box. We're going to remove show frozen in gray and also let's right click and on object properties we're going to select renderable to false so it doesn't show on the render and also with that if you press the filter let me select the the mesh let's change it back to renderable if you select the filter you'll see that only the bones are hidden. So let's start with the arms. Right here, I'm going to select the arms and on the motion panel, I'm going to scale them. Now, I'm going to scale them in the local reference point. And if you scale it right here, the skin will be affected so beware on the axis that you can scale the bones and right there you'll see that we have the bones of the arms visible on top of the mesh so let's do the same with the hand again if you scale it right here the fingers will change if you scale it right here the fingers will change and if you scale it on the y-axis the fingers will also change so instead of scaling the bones we're going to go and add a, an edit poly on top of the bone and right here we're going to select element we're going to change the view the reference system to parent and I'm going to scale it right here you can also move it if you want to reposition the hand in a better way so let's change it to parent and set it something like this and now let's go to the bones of the fingers i'm going to heat the mesh again let me hide this right here and i'm going to select the bone of the thumb and i'm going to scale it in this axis this axis does not affect this, the skinning again the this x-axis does affect the skin I'm going to select all the other fingers let me check and I'm going to scale it again so in the y-axis and on the c-axis so we can see them on top of the mesh and what else we need the clavicle is right here hidden so I'm going to show it I'm going to scale it in this axis until I see it no it's really really far so what we're going to do is to add an edit poly select element select all the mesh and I'm going to scale it and I'm going to move it so I can see it something like this this does not, does not affect the pivot of the of the bone it's just the visuals so you can find it better you can even rotate it if you want but the boss display mode does not show the, the rotation 
only the local rotation so this doesn't affect at all so right there we have the arm ready to be shown so let's do this let's create a new collection here on the copy paste rollout I'm going to select we double click all the arm I'm going to copy the posture and I'm going to paste it on the other arm and for the clavicle of the other side which is right here I'm going to go to here copy the edited poly and paste it on the other side now you see right here that the paste does not work well so I think let me try if I change it to be mode let's get it pasted instead no it does not work but you can modify that manually and set it on the position that you need it again this does not affect the rig at all it's just for visual purposes now what else we can do right here let's do the root game object the root game object sorry the root bone the center of gravity let's show it on the mesh we cannot move it because we're going to move the whole skin so we're going to add an edit poly select an element and we're going to scale it so we can see it just right there something like this pretty small let's do the same for the pelvis the pelvis we can scale it on this axis we cannot scale it on this axis because it affects the feet so we're going to add an edit poly going to select it and we're going to have it right here and let's do the legs with the legs let me let me show it right here we're going to scale it in these two axes and we have the legs let me show it right here something a little bit smaller and with the feet we have a problem so if we rotate the feet right here let me show this one it rotates on this axis and i want have a pivot i want to have a pivot in the base of the mesh right here so to show you right here i want to have the feet that covers all the shoe right here but if I do this it will affect the mesh and it will affect also the shoelaces but let's do this right here we're going to change it right here we're going to scale it a bit well no, we're not going to scale it we're going to use the ankle attach option so it shows the box is here on the corner of the shoe I'm going to scale it right here it doesn't matter that this changes the skin in this case I'm going to use the other let me show you this this bone right here which is the the point of the foot the feet or the foot and I'm going to move it right here so we can see it something like this and just like that the shoe was modified so we're going to fix that we're going to take the timeline and set it to the time zero i'm going to select the mesh go to the skin modifier and right here on the advanced parameters rollout we're going to uncheck the always deform and i'm going to use the reference frame zero right here and when you do that the skin will be set back to normal you see the foot is set back to normal right here we can modify again the shoelaces bones and put it in the right place and the skin won't be affected once you finish putting all the feet on the right position something like this and the feet right here then you have uh, the bones position in the right place then you can enable back 
always deformed and the skin will be fixed now let's copy these settings to the other foot so copy and paste opposite this will modify the shoe so what we can do is again review that we check and uncheck this option on the skin modifier for the head if we scale it everything is going to change even the position of the bones i and we don't want to change the position of the bone of the hairs so instead we're going to do the edit poly version so we're going to select the head and we're going to scale the bone and just like that we have the bone of the head showing on top of the mesh same we can do with the with the neck is right here we can scale it in this axis we cannot scale it in this axis because it won't affect the mesh but we can show it a bit a bit right here luckily here all the other props were shown in the in the bones by default but you can do all that you need with all other bones and have it on the other side so copy and paste it so the spine bones right here are shown very very small so we're going to scale them but if you scale them you'll see that all the props are going to be modified so let's check which bones we can modify so none of those we can so we're going to use the route of the edit poly you see i have the three objects selected so we can also add an edit poly to all objects so i'm going to use parent i'm going to select all of them and i'm going to scale it so we can see them something like this something that we can use to select them and something like this also to make the rig a little bit better and not that convoluted we can use the layer system to show and unshow bones that we are not animating so for example i'm going to select all the bones that are in the head right here and i'm going to unselect the head and all these bones i'm going to let me change sort by layer i'm going to add selection to a new layer and i'm going to call this face rig so i can use it hide it and unhide it so for the backpack i'm going to do the same i'm going to select all the bones that are in the backpack something like this i'm going to select the sorry i'm going to select the other the other bones and i'm going to add selection to new layer i'm going to call it backpack I'm going to hide it. Ah, the mesh was selected also. So I'm going to create a new layer for the mesh. New layer, and I'm going to call it. Sorry, let me add this one right here. This is going to be mesh. I'm going to freeze this one so it cannot be selected. We have the face rig, we have the backpack. There's also these bones of the backpack. Uh, yes, these are also bones of the backpack and I'm going to move them to the backpack. Again, the mesh, I don't know why it was selected right here. I'm going to put it outside. What else we need? We need the headphones. These are the headphones. Let me add it in the backpack 
just for the sake of this tutorial. And that's how you have a cleaner rig. And once you want to animate the backpack, you simply show the bones. And when you want to animate the face rig, you simply show the bones. You can also do the same for the whole body. Let's add a new layer for the body rig. For the body rig. So you can hide it too. And that's it. That's how you can fix a rig with the biped system so you can animate a bit better.